Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Havoc here. Today what I've got for you guys is another tutorial. I'm going to be showing you how to edit YouTube videos for free using a software known as VSDC Video Editor. If you do enjoy the video and if it does help you out, be sure to drop a like. Let's go for 300 likes. Also, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I'm currently on the road to 100,000 subscribers. And one last thing, I'm currently going to be heading to Europe here, um, actually today as I'm recording this. So if you guys want to follow me on Instagram, I'm going to be posting some pretty cool architecture, pretty cool photos of Europe. I'm actually going to Italy, Spain, and France. But with that being said, let's get straight into the tutorial. The first thing that you're going to want to do is click on the first link in the description, and that will take you to this page right here. And you're just going to want to click on the button that says download video editor. And I'm not going to do it because I already have it uh, downloaded, but it's pretty simple to install it onto your computer. It should show up somewhere on your desktop. So you're just going to want to click on it and open it up. And it should come up with this pop up window right here. Um, this basically just shows you some additional features that you could possibly get if you upgrade it to the pro version. But you can go ahead and just exit out of that and click on blank project. And we're just going to name this test. Typically, I like to keep it at full HD, and I think when you open this originally, it'll be set at 1280. So you're gonna wanna go to 1920 by 1080, and you can choose 30 or 60. I'm gonna choose 60, because I have 60 FPS on my videos, and we're just gonna click Finish. The overall layout is pretty similar to other editing programs. You have your layers down at the bottom. This is where you're gonna put your audio and visual clips. Um, and then you got your time obviously right here. So if you click and drag this button, you can, you can edit during a certain time period. And another cool feature of this program is you can get really precise when you're editing. So you can click and drag this button up here if you want to precisely edit something along the 10 second mark, you can click and drag and look at that. And you can also click and drag this other side. And the cool thing is you can really get precise a lot more precise than any other editing programs. You've got your properties window, you've got a lot of basic effects, so a lot of color correction, brightness, contrast, all, all that kind of jazz. The first thing that we're really gonna do right now is import some media, and how you do that is you click one of these three buttons, so you can add an image, sound, or video. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my intro, and it'll come up with this window, and basically I usually just click OK, because from cursor position, it'll basically place that imported media right after where your cursor is. And my cursor is at zero, zero, so I can just click OK. And there's my clip. If we click and drag here, you can see the intro right here. Also, another helpful tip is if you click on the clip right here, you can see these uh, kind of border lines right here, and you can just click and drag. And the cool thing about this program is that it doesn't change the aspect ratio. So I'm gonna click Control Z to go back, but to be able to see that border, you actually have to click on the clip right here. So the next thing that we're gonna do is go ahead and import the meat and potatoes of our video. So if we want to import maybe some gameplay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and import that. And I'm going to just click and drag and it snaps to the end of it. So the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna split this gameplay. Let's say that I only have two minutes of commentary. So obviously I'm gonna only want two minutes of this gameplay and not all five minutes or so. So the thing that you're gonna to have to do is click and drag to wherever you wanna split this clip. So let's say I wanna split it right after I get this kill and this merciless badge comes up. So I'm gonna to wanna to split it right here and have my outro afterwards, let's say. So what we're gonna do is go to that time, click on this split into parts thing and it's gonna split into parts. Now one thing that's kind of tricky is you can't really delete this clip yet. You can't just delete it because it deletes the entire clip. What you have to do is click off of the clip and click back on and then you can delete that clip. So now you only have two minutes, 10 seconds and you can get it more precise obviously if you want to get it more precise. If we want to get it right at two we can do that. And so if we just click the space bar or we can click this play button right here, but if we click the space bar, you'll be able to see this transition when it transitions from the intro to the gameplay. And as you can see, it's not too professional. Basically what you're gonna do is make sure you have your gameplay, meat and potatoes selected, right click, go to video effects, 
and go to transitions and you have quite a few different options i'm gonna go ahead and just choose fade fx so the difference between from scene begin to scene end i want it at the beginning i'll click this if i wanted at the end so a transition between the end of your gameplay and your outro you're going to want to click this so first off we're going to click that click ok and it'll actually open up this new tab right here and this will basically show you whatever effects you have on that certain clip so whatever effects you have on your gameplay will be shown right here if i click and drag this button right here we can slowly and surely see this fade fx right here so one thing that you can do and we can just go ahead and play it and see how this fade fx looks what we can do is we can click and drag this so if we want a longer duration of fade as you can see if we want it to fade it real real long we can or if we want a quick fade we can do that as well now there's a lot of things that we can change with this fade fx um, more than just the duration of it we can change the properties of it and this window right here so we can go ahead and change the width and the height of this grid um, so that it kind of just blends in with the gameplay a little better and kind of makes it look a little more professional um, now i suggest having the width and the height as low as you can and the lowest that i can put it at is eight but if i want to just mess around with this and see what 40 and 40 looks like we can see that that does not look very good so i'm just going to go back to eight because that looks a whole lot better um, another thing that you can change is the type of grid that you want so if you want a rotated grid you can do that if you want a diagonal line you can do that dashes it kind of changes the overall look so you can kind of mess around with it see what you really like um, but we're going to go ahead and click this button and kind of drag it back out and we're going to go ahead and click on this tab again right here and we're going to right click again go to video effects go to transitions and do another fade fx to scene end so that we have a fade fx at the end and at the beginning so if we go back to our scene right here you'll be able to see that at the end it'll have a nice little transition as well so obviously i'm assuming that most of you guys want to know also how to edit overlays into your videos aka face cam border or leave a like animation now i typically make these as an image as a photoshop image and so i'm just going to go ahead and click on add image and i'm going to go ahead and just add my leave a like animation first click open and i'm just going to click ok and there it is right there and obviously you can just click and drag this to scale it down because i'm going to not obviously want it to take up the entire space now the cool thing about this program is let's say you want it to be this far close to the bottom but you want it to be centered and obviously it's hard to eyeball that so you're going to want to go to edit and you're going to want to click on horizontal align center and it'll align it right down there uh, it's perfectly in center right there you can click off and we're going to go ahead and click and drag these buttons get a little more precise editing format right here i obviously like to have the leave a like animation a little farther and obviously when the gameplay shows up i don't want it uh, to be right where the intro is so i'm going to click and drag this and move it right there we're going to go ahead and zoom back out and we can click and drag this because we don't want the leave a like animation too long and click and drag again and let's say we just want the leave a like animation to maybe last four or five seconds and as you can see it just shows up for four or five seconds and goes back out there's no transition obviously so it doesn't look too professional so what we're going to do to change that is right click go to video effects go to transitions now i for one really like the wipe effect for a certain overlay like a leave a like animation so i'm going to do from scene begin and then i'm also going to go back right click again video effects transitions wipe and then from scene end so we've got the transition at the beginning and the transition at the end so if we want to just see what that looks like we can and there it is we've got a wipe and it goes back up as you all know you can click and change the properties of this if you want um, we can change the type to maybe a side wipe so if we change it to side it'll wipe from the side instead of from the top now as you can see if we take a look at this um, it changed that to side but it still has this as door so you basically have to go back 
and change this one as well to side. And if we change that and we go back to this location right here, we can see that it's changed to side as well. So let's say that's all good. You're happy with, with that as far as the leave like animation goes. So we're gonna go back to this scene as well. The only thing that remains that I would like to show you guys is a face cam border. So I'm gonna go to add image again, and I'm gonna go to face cam border. If you guys want a tutorial on how to make both of these, be sure to let me know down in the comments. Um, I can go ahead and do that. I think I've gotten a couple requests with the face cam border, but I haven't really gotten any requests for the leave a like, which is surprising. But if you know how to do one, you should be able to know how to do both of them. So I'm gonna go ahead and just click okay. So the face cam border shows up, there it is right there and you can click and scale it obviously, and I'm gonna go ahead and click Control Z to go back to the original size. But I'm just gonna keep it right there, I think that's good. As you can see, if you have your gameplay above your face cam, this is another important thing, is whatever layers are above will be above. So your face cam is below this. So you're obviously gonna want your face cam border to be at the highest layer that it can be. Um, we can just click and drag this if we don't have a new layer up here and so that the face cam border is above everything else. So now that we have the face cam border above the gameplay, I'm gonna click and drag it and make sure it's the same length as my gameplay so it stretches out the entire gameplay. And the next thing we're gonna do is just take a look at this transition by clicking the space bar to play it. And as you can see, everything transitions except the face cam border. So what we're gonna do is click on the face cam border, right click, video effects, transitions, and we're gonna do a fade FX as well. And you're gonna to want to basically match it along with it, whatever transition you, you pick for your gameplay so that it matches it and it looks all synced up. So from scene begin, so it'll transition at the beginning. So if we click and play, it transitions a little better. So we can click the space bar again, go to scene zero again, right click video effects and go to transitions as well again do fade FX to scene end so that it transitions at the end as well before our outro. So we can click out of this tab right here and obviously you can change the properties if you want to, you can change the duration. And it's a lot of tedious work, but like I said before, the more precise that you can be, the better your video will look. So now that we have everything in here, I've shown you how to split clips, I've shown you how to add everything, how to scale it down. The next thing that I wanna show you guys is how to crop an image. So if you have a face cam right here, you're gonna to wanna to crop it inside this border. So we're gonna make sure we're clicked off everything. We're gonna go ahead and add a video. And I'm gonna go ahead and add my face cam. So I'm gonna get a little more precise. And as you can see, this video is above everything else. So the how you're gonna change that is we're gonna right click, add a layer. And unfortunately with this program, let's say that I drag this up to a new layer, it's going to delete whatever layer that doesn't have anything on it. It's just a kind of a, a self protocol that just deletes layers that aren't being used, if that makes sense. So let's say if I move this up, it'll delete that layer. So I'm gonna have to do that again. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on the face cam border, drag that all the way up so that it's above everything else. And now everything is organized pretty good now according to layers so we're gonna make sure we have our subs our face cam uh, content right here clicked on and we're gonna click and drag and go ahead and scale that down and obviously as you can see it's not precise right here so how we're gonna crop this is we're gonna go to editor we're gonna click on this crop tool right here and it'll show up this window right here now the unfortunate thing is that you can't really see a preview of this unfortunately but you can basically eyeball it. So if you click and drag this, you can basically see, oh, okay, well the border is pretty close to where this rug is. It's about halfway, right? So we're gonna try to just put that right there and obviously you can't really see the entire clip so you have to drag this. And we're gonna do the same thing on this side as well. And that's about where the border is. And you can click and drag this as well up to, oh, I would say it looks like it's about up there and we can click OK. And obviously um, you'll have to mess around with it a little more. Make sure you have your face cam footage selected right here and we can basically scale it down again 
and sometimes that's all it really needs is a little scaling and it looks pretty good about there i mean it looks like it's inside the border if we click off of it it looks like it's inside there and it plays pretty well and you're obviously going to want to click and drag it to where it matches everything and if we go to the original transition right here we can see that everything else transitions except the face cam footage so we can just go ahead and change that by right clicking video effects transitions and go to fade fx again from scene begin and we can go back to scene zero right click again and do a transition at the end as well so from scene end and there we go so we got our basically our transitions we got our face cam footage we've got everything here and obviously as you can see my face cam footage is pretty long so i'm going to want to make that a little shorter so it matches everything so there we are right there it's pretty much finished now one last thing that i do want to show you guys is color correction now this program has a lot of cool features regarding color correction if you go to editor and if you click on this down button right here you can see a lot of different um, color correction options that you can choose so if we want to click and drag this to see what the gameplay originally looks like and we want to change this make sure you've got your gameplay selected we can go ahead and click on some of these and it'll change what it looks like and as you can see, it changes it to black and white. Now, one important thing is you should not try to add multiple color correction um, films on here. So if you end up not liking this black and white uh, color correction, you can just click Control Z and it'll go back to the original format right here. And you can click and try out a different one. This looks like kind of like a montage type color correction. Now, if you wanna do it kind of manually, you can. Um, on this tab right here now it's probably a little more tedious to do it on this tab instead of just using the original um, color correction options that this program does have but uh, you can choose either one you can really change a lot of different features on this window right here if you really want to once you're finished with your product and you're pretty happy with it um, you have to export to an mp4 format because you can't really upload this um, you can't upload just a VSDC video editor format um, to YouTube. You're gonna have to go to projects, export project right here. You have multiple uh, options along here before you wanna export, but you can go to PC, you can export to, to a movie format. You have a lot of different options. You can go to the web, you can export as a YouTube file for Instagram, for Facebook, to an MP4 format. But most likely, you'll be uploading it to YouTube, so you can just export it for YouTube. You can change where you want it to export to and what name you want it to be exported as. And I can go ahead and change the quality. You're going to want to keep it on high quality, but for whatever reason, if you want to put it at a low quality, you can. Um, you can also change it if you want to export it just as 720. Or if you want to make it super high quality at 4K, you can do that. Um, just know that if your clips in the video are at 1080, it's really not gonna look any, any different. Um, but if you have 4K content and you forgot to set it up that way, you can at the end. But uh, once you're all ready, you can just click on Export Project, click Continue, and it'll show you the progress of rendering it. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy if this video did help you out, be sure to hit that subscribe button and be sure to hit that uh, like button as well. Make sure you got your notifications on. I'm going to be posting a lot more tutorials. Let me know down in the comments what you would like to see. I'm going to try to make a face cam border video as well as a logo and maybe an updated intro tutorial as well. And with that being said, it's been your boy Havoc here and I'm out. See you guys later. Peace.